quite a strong magnet actually. I mean, I can jump. <laughs> Tell you what, peeps, this look, thing looks like it's been drop kicked. <laughs> Crikey. Oi, hello, I'm Mubit, um, back in the super shed for a quick uh, tech review. Uh, we've got an X review sample of an Insta360 Go 2 and some bits. So we're going to go to the overhead camera and see that in a minute. Uh, still no update on Operation Fezcam and the building and everything. <sighs> As I'm recording this, it's Wednesday. I don't think we're gonna hear the side of Christmas now, to be honest. We're dealing with a government agency, so it is what it is. But uh, if you go to the Team Reflector Facebook group and the Instagram as well, I'll keep you updated on there. But yeah, we've got some, we've got some new toys. Let's play, shall we? Tell you what, we'll go from the side, shall we? So um, in this rather, well, it's been launched in a post office, I think. <laughs> In here we have got our Insta360 Go To itself, and that's the camera there. And the voice we've also been sent, and it's, it's rattling, so this will be fun. Um, we've got a case for all the bits, I suppose. We'll put that there for a moment, and then we've got some, basically some lenses. We'll get rid of this. We. Um, we've got so we've got a lens guard, and we've got. Um, some ND filters and this is this is rattling um, so I think we're gonna check this first as you can see the boxes are totaled like <laughs> yeah nervously opens box so these are ND filters that come with it and oh, they don't look scratched let's see if I can get you there you go they are loose inside though. These are from Freewell um, and Freewell ND filters. Now, very important if you're shooting outdoors and you don't want to go on full automatic settings and you want to be an actual professional um, and get your, your separation and stuff with such a tiny lens. But I'm just looking at it now. No, it's not scratched. It's actually done all right. Not bad. They are absolutely, as you can see, there's my pinky finger, absolutely tiny. Look, I mean, another little case. Oh, it's magnetic. Ooh. So a magnetic case. Um, and this has got an ND8, a 16, a 32, and a 64. So that's the Freewell ND filters. It looks like they made it in one piece, which is always a bonus. Okay, let's try these ones as well. These are some lens guards. Now, Insta360 do um, have one pre-installed on the camera itself so if they get if the lens guard gets scratched up you don't have to buy a whole new camera you can just swap the lens guard on it um but with them being in a they're in a well you know like a clamshell thing they've survived the kicking across the hall as well and inside here is uh it's just a bag a little bag put them in or a lens wipe as well by the looks of it so that's them the case this is the official Insta360 Go 2 case. This does uh, does the action mount adapter, the pivot stand, the magnetic prong adapter, the charge case, the easy clip, the magnetic screw mount, all the cables, and the camera itself. So, it's uh, got quite a lot of quite a lot of uh, bits to it. Well, there you go. And again, case, you know, just give you a quick quick overview, really. And inside here, it looks like it's oh yeah, there you are. So it's double, so it's not going to fall out. You can kind of put your stuff in there, and it's kind of like an inch like there extra so that's kind of nice i like that there you go hard case keep everything you know and you can't keep it in your camera bag all together yeah fair enough there's your insta 360 go to it's um very gopro-ish kind of packaging although gopro has the plastic thing on top which i never actually liked because uh you know plastic so put that back there there you go and it's uh, magnetically, this is why I got this, because it's magnetically, it just sticks to stuff. Like here, this is a magnetic board back here. Let's see if I can, there we go. Ta-da. <laughs> I'm guessing this is because the, there's a pendant inside this, if you've not been watching any reviews, which I'm sure you've watched some of the reviews by now, so I'm, I'm trying to be quick with this. I'm gonna put that there. Um, 
I'm trying to be quick with this unboxing because obviously uh, all the big YouTubers have already been sent these, but uh, hey. Um, instructions on how to do it. Inside here, it looks like yeah, there's a magnetic pendant that you wear around your neck. Um, two cards to show, there, there's the magnetic pendant there, you see. And uh, charge case instructions, etc. So we'll go for that in a minute. Uh, lots of bump inside here by the looks of it. Warranty, quick start guide. Oh, you get stickers. They're doing the whole, they're doing the whole GoPro thing with giving you some stickers. Fair enough. And inside here are all your accessories that you get in the standard box. So you've got a charging cable. You've got this that you wear on your head, I believe. This is the head one. This clips like a baseball cap, um, and you put the put the GoPro, the the Insta 360 Go to in there, and that is a thing. That is some kind of yeah. So on here, this is. This pulls out and then it reveals a sticky thing you can just stick it to whatever and then you know you rinse it down and then it becomes sticky again and this you know pivots up and and round and stuff so you know sticking it to your motorbike or whatever you know i'm not really a uh, extreme sports guy anymore at least not now i'm old and then the charging case as well so i mean i'm going to be using this basically for bts vlogs because i'm obviously doing cinema camera stuff and behind the scenes and we are allowed to film behind the scenes vlogs we just can't release them until the film is out you know um but then carrying the cinema cameras and operating a, a, a gimbal and then then like getting a, a dslr or my phone out and you know this i'll just literally wear it on my chest so this is a charging case but it's also so if i put that in there look i'm sure i'll go in there there you go press to connect boom they are just vibrated for me in the charging case it lasts um a lot longer uh, obviously out of the charging case um you know you wear it on your on your body and uh, it doesn't last as long you know the battery but it obviously recharges just like a pair of iP iphone you know headphones or whatever nice little solid case actually i like this usb-c tripod mount and also am mind tripod mount i think yeah here we go so it can actually just just stand there on a table and film you so yeah pretty good um let's get this charged up synced up my phone and everything and we'll have a look and see what the footage looks like okay here we go so this is just a quick and dirty you know vloggy bit um, this is fully auto settings, it's in pro video mode, 1440p, 30 frames a second. Um, I notice there's a hole in the top of the charging case to let the, because um, the mic's in the top of the GoPro, just above the, um, the GoTo, should I say, just above the lens. But how is this looking? Obviously I've got, you know, Hollywood lighting, <laughs> well not Hollywood lighting, but you know, and uh, Dean's gift just there. Um, but yeah, this pretty much would be well this is arm's length right now um then if i guess the only issue is i can't do the whole rule of third so i'll probably end up in the middle all the time but yeah a little quick quick look behind the scenes it's uh not as glamorous as you want as you might think and then uh here's the um here's the case with all the bits that you get in there so that's the magnetic pendant that it goes to hat adapter wall adapter um, a, a thingy, a, a cloth, and then wires and stuff are in there. Um, but yeah, I'll try and give you. There's some low light because uh, none of these these are these are these are light up as you see from the start of the video. But uh, I've not got them lit up at the moment. So there's your low light. So this is what it would look like on the magnetic pendant. Um, it's quite a strong magnet, actually. I mean, I can jump. <laughs> And bearing in mind I'm wearing a really thick hoodie right now because it's like, I think it's like two degrees outside. So this is what it would look like as I'm walking through sets and things. And hi, let's look at the cinema camera here. This is, you know, this is a Z camera, blah, blah, blah. You know, so hopefully, and with the mic obviously being here on my chest, the mic is what? Touch the lens end, sorry. But it, the mic's like, what, 10 centimeters away from my mouth? So... I mean, you know, it's not going to be as good as wearing a, a lav mic or anything, but maybe it's usable. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to dial in the settings with, with our ND filters, which are actually in here, look. Um, we're going to dial in the settings, stick our ND filters on, and make something quite cinematic with this, and see how that fares. I'm going to do that in daylight, though, because obviously these are built for daylight. Um, but yeah, that's the first initial impressions. 
I mean, you can see here, I'm not, not sure if it'll focus, but that's showing me that it's recording and I can remotely start and stop the recording. So I'm going to do that at the end of the vlog. So hopefully this has been useful to you. Um, you could, might be seeing this angle a lot more as we go along. Um, and yeah, I'll see you at the next, vi next video, which hopefully will be good news about Operation Fezcam because then I can take you around the building that uh, we've been looking at for the past year. So... Wash your hands, 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 wash your fing hands! I like to move it, move it, move it.